Titan 7, but you already knew that, but if you didn't, hello and welcome to my stream, we're on World of Warships Legends, and as the title says, we are here for a brand new campaign, and there she is as well, advertising herself. Today is Monday, May 16th, 2022, and as it said, back to the Belfast. I hope the hell the servers are live, or I'm recording for absolutely nothing. <laughs> oh, please be live. I didn't check before I started the stream. Please. Please be live. I don't want to act, well, look like a tool. Well, I already look like a tool anyway. Especially if you saw my stream yesterday on Warfunder, I was losing my mind. And I feel like I'm actually going to be completely done with streaming that game for now, because it's not going so well for me. I have another two... well, I still have to complete stage for the one at the minute, and then two more stages after that. So we're going to do ships for as long as possible today, and then... Obviously, <sighs> we will move on to War Thunder later off stream just to see how well we can do. But anyway, we are here today. Thank you. I really wanted to be notified about my Corsair. So, we are here today. Brand new campaign, as it's stated. So, let's run down everything that we know so far and check out the store and see if there's anything brand new and no, oh, there is. That's right, I forgot. Today we are joined by a brand new line. Which you can buy two ships straight out. Which I'm going to do now. I'm gonna buy that out. Spend just a thousand XP to get the tier two. Let's purchase that. There we go. Two brand new ships. Lovely. But we now have a pan. European destroyer line. These guys apparently have good guns, really fast and dangerous torpedoes. However, they do not come with a smoke generator, but you can earn these lucky ships in the early access crates, which I believe are hidden inside the campaign. Or, as you can see, for 6,000 golden doubloons, you can buy 10 of the crates and hopefully, if you're lucky, strike it rich and get yourself a ship. As you can see, <sighs> Pardon me, I don't know why I'm tired. Anyway, these crates drop Tier 7 Friesland and Early Access Pan-European Destroyers, Commander Progression Items, and more goods. Early Access ships are guaranteed to drop after 20 crates without ships, and the Friesland will take 30 crates without getting a single ship to guarantee her drop. So, every 20th crate, if not every 30th crate, you will get a ship. But mainly every 20 crates, give or take, you'll uh, be guaranteed to get a destroyer. Or a ship of some kind. So in the featured section, nothing really new. Except for the Friesland now joins the free XP and the Platzwika is our current weekly premium ship. Texas still stays in the store for a cheap price. Holy crap, I never saw how much that was before. And we go on the offers. Oh, would you look at that? We get a free... Was that a free ship crate? That is, we get a free ship crate today. Oh, thank you, Wargaming. Just to add up the total there. Thank you. You can also buy one for 750 golden doubloons, which comes with five crates for 750 golden doubloons. I'm going to take that offer. Because I feel like that would be a stupid move if I didn't. I might have almost just screwed myself, but I haven't. I still have enough gold. That's good. Uh, Indianapolis is there, as usual. As we go to the special, you can. Holy crap! Okay. Time to spend a bit of silver, me thinks. We'll buy one of them. Because uh, we, we don't have anything to really uh, spend our silver on at the minute, because we don't really have any tier 7s that we can unlock. So we'll buy them two out the gate, 
you can still buy more if you want for gold. Let's see, 750 gold for a single crate. We got an offer there to buy five of them for 750, so if you have the gold and you want to commit suicide, <laughs> I would go for it. Credit Frenzy, hello, this is new. Seven days of premium. What does this one come with? Three million silver, some promotion orders, and seven days of prem. Admiral Stash comes with three million and ooh, ooh. an insignia. Those come in handy, especially at the higher tier commanders. Cause good God, they are hard to get. Not bringing any special there. I think premium is still on discount if you were lucky enough to get some. Commanders, here we go. This is what everyone wants to know. Here is our free, brand new commanders that we can buy. Uh, I don't want to go ahead and spend my commander XP. I have 1.6, so I can only buy one of them. But I'm not going to buy them just yet, because I feel like there's going to be an operation. Oh, I went way too far. Uh, I feel like there's going to be an operation that will secure one of these commanders for us. So we're not going to go ahead and buy one just yet. Containers are nothing special, as usual. The Forge, Missouri, hello my baby. It's still all in there, along with the Romansk. And all of all the camos, nothing new has been added to there. We go to ships, yep, the Friesland is confirmed as the free XP ship this month, along with the Blitzbuka. You can buy her standard if you want, at a cheaper price of 12.5. Well, nothing. <sighs> God, I'm really tired today. <clears throat> nothing really special. Uh, nothing good in there. And we go to camos. Anything new? Not really. The weird American camos, they're all gone. So we're back down to the classic camos as usual. Des Moines has hers in there. Minotaur's got hers. So that's good. Let's go to the bureau. Uh, nothing new. How disappointing. We still have to do these, so I believe stream are going to actually watch me go into AI to get these done. Because there's no other way in hell I can do that. Uh, oh, Saipan's on a new stage. Nice. Oh, for God's sake. Always oh, on a different segment. Of course you are. Let's put Stefan in there, because we can't get the other guy. Let's put Lexington in. And we'll put in the New Orleans. We must do the New Orleans and a tier 7. And we can't do anything else, because we don't have any of our ships. So bugger. Big time bugger. Because I don't like the New Orleans. She's a good cruiser, but just not good with me. So we must play the New Mexico. Tier 6, which will be the New Orleans, the Flandry, and the Lexington today. But we're not here for that. We're here for this, the brand new campaign. Here we go. Wow, we get special camels straight out the gate. How interesting. Dirt League is still active? Are you serious? Oh, I'm not interested. I'm really not interested. <laughs> that sounds bad, but I'm just really not. So... Daily boosts were free XP. Mwah. Weeklies, I'm almost done with. I just need to do 6,000 damage. Or 600, wait, was that 6,000 or 600? 600,000 damage. Forced. So these are locked down. Oh, wow. They really expect people to get the ships then, don't they? Because these are the brand new pan-European destroyers. And you're meant to win all these battles in them? Good God. Well, they're dreaming. Heroic effort this time, though. Let's see what we get. In four battles, become the best in the entire game. Okay, you're in five devastating strikes. Fine. Ooh, free high calibers. Very nice. And two Confederate. Those are probably the two easiest right there. The high cal and the Confederate badges. 
Devastating Strike is actually quite easy too. Hmm. But anyway, let's see what we have to do with these. And these are done differently. The Shakedowns and the Havocs are together. What the hell? It looks like it. I mean, that's what I'm seeing from the top of the board. But anyway, let's see what we have to do for all of this. So obviously, stage one is easy. I just need to win a match. Well, that's simple enough. We'll be doing it inside anyway. Anyway, uh, we need to do 375,000 credits. That's easy. Two, 3,200 before bonuses. Easy. Or 1,200 global XP. Easy. Okay, now we're getting into the stuff that I don't want to see because this is not the challenges that I wanted. God damn it, Gaijin. Or, not Gaijin. Why did I say Gaijin? Right, so we have to do 50,000 with fire, which means everyone's going to be throwing HE, including fucking battleships. And that's not what I wanted to see. Uh, a thousand ribbons, so that's good. That could be anything. And obviously, top four on our tip. Thank you for just interrupting me. <laughs> oh my god, so we need Blaze. Top four on our team four times. That's easy enough. Doesn't seem like much, does it? Oh, hang on, though. There's other stages, isn't there? Right, so... We could do... Oh! Okay. Holy crap. That's... That's insane. What's a little star for? So everything is doubled if we were to take path number two. How peculiar. Hmm. Okay. Oh, there she is. My country ship. Right out the gate, I'm just gonna buy the Admiralty. I feel like she's worth it. I feel like I've also just uh, committed suicide with my gold because it's gone. Ooh, we do get uh, an arena this season. Before I forget, we get, I think it's three rounds of the season challenges. Um, so I can't remember what tier they offer. But. Hopefully, the crew, and, well, when I say the crew, the clan, the SMVD clan, will hopefully pull together and we could be able to roll out, get some shit done, wreck some havoc. Oh, we already have. Ah, we already have Conrad. Well, that's good. Haha, -ha, so we don't need to buy him right out the gate. What the hell is this? Oh, this was the free pack. This was the Broken Destroyer. I forgot I downloaded this, but it was so badly broke that Wargaming had to fix this ship. I'm not going to put stuff in it. Because this thing had torpedoes. But I'm guessing they're fixed now anyway. Torpedoes that were deadly as hell. Yeah, they haven't fixed it yet. Look at the damage on them. 19... Thousand damage. Nineteen thousand. That is a tier seven damage. That one taps anything. Holy crap. Okay, so we do need to go and just quickly buy one of the destroyer commanders out of the store. Bop, 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 
ba 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 ba. One of you is my destroyer commander. What what the hell are you? I'm guessing you would be my uh, destroyer commander. So who is this, this guy? Oh, so he's a stealth build. So he's a stealth commander, and the other guy, uh, Stig Hansen, he's not. Well, I'm still gonna buy Ericsson. He can be my new commander for my destroyer. I almost made the mistake of again not doing that, but let's uh, let's upgrade him as far as we can without using. We'll put him up to rank 7, and we'll also put our other commander, that I've instantly just forgot where he is. There he is. Conrad, we'll put you up to rank 7 as well, my man. There we go. Now, to scroll all the way up, because I mean all the way bloody up. Because we have to find our New Mexico. There she is. Take that out of you, actually. And can we find our new? Yeah, free go, free your strong badge, or well, flag even. All right, let's start this week off. Let's see how this works. Just messaging the crew here while I'm also streaming. Letting them know everything. Because some of them are unfortunately not able to get to their consoles at the minute. Oh, I knew I was charging that phone. I instantly just blanked it. There we go. Alrighty. Here we go. So we'll lock the guns to the left. There's a big ass clock on this ship. And already someone has a Fisbee. Are you kidding me already? What other pre what other new destroyers is here? Just him? Okay, well, he's got lucky. Well, not really lucky. He's got the tier 4. You're able to get the tier 3 to 6 before this update ends. But I guess he got that out of the way now, meaning he increases his chances later down the line to unlock a better destroyer. So good for you, my man. Just don't believe someone's already got one. <sighs> Alright. Come on, New Mexico. We need to get into the battle. Enemy on the I can see the cruiser. I just don't want to do anything yet. Ah, oh, Fuso's out of my range. that. Ah, crap. Is that a... Oh, it's an on New Mexico. Hey, he's rocking the new camo. Looks okay. 
I wouldn't say it's horrible and atrocious in any way. But of course... Our team has taken the lead. Hello, Pietor. Switch out of you, gonna activate the secondary boost to you. Hopefully... Did he see them coming? He knew. He ate two of them. And I almost ate one. No, I don't appreciate that. Get the fuck out of here. I'm only gonna get one into me, and that's all I'm giving you. Pop. Oh, it didn't even cause flooding. Oh, eat your heart out. It's not a good enough angle to hurt him, but we're gonna have to go for it anyway. Enough angle. Just aim right for that bridge. Like, if you can aim when someone's like that, just aim on their top deck because you're guaranteed to incapacitate a gun, maybe. But you're instantly going to hit that tower. It's the same on the Fuso, it's the same on Cali. Even this thing has it. It's a weak spot. The Pietor shares an even bigger weak spot. Easily citadelable. Uso shares this weak spot too, so let's just wait 20 odd seconds, see what happens. Engine full reverse, we need to stop. I can't do anything, there's no way he can get his torpedoes down here. Fisbee might be able to do something, but Fisbee has to participate with me doing this. Oh, low. I don't get any Citadel. I'll take it. And there's the Torps from Fisbee. Only three? No, six. He flumped the first salvo. No, he did not. Never mind, good man. That New Max is pretty much gone. Yep, a meal with the torps. A meal with the kill. Nice. Very nice. That's one down. Only four more ships to go. And then we can start working on the good stuff. to work on you. Why do I have XP boost for these ships? Take that off. Oh, now what? Credit week. A little bit slow on this, aren't you? Like, I've already went through the store. I already know everything you've got, Wargaming. Actually, I might be able to make my... Uh... A bit of gold back. Because I can remember, if you get a early access ship, if you're lucky enough to get an early access ship, not the two that we bought at the beginning, the tier 1 and 2, the tier 3, the 6, if you're lucky enough to get one of those free ships, then you should get a special challenge awarded to those ships, each worth gold. Normally about five to ten stages of them, but they're worth it, especially if you get the high tier ones, man. Ah, <sighs> downside of this ship, no fucking health boost. 
It's the only ship down this goddamn line that doesn't come with one. Pensacola gets one. The Baltimore gets one. For some reason, the New Orleans, it doesn't get it. And it should get it. Rocking the stellar camel. It's quite a nice camel. I actually do love them. Even my little flacons on the back are neon. I just have a ship in front of me. I did have a ship in front of me. <sighs> Can it be any other ship? Baga. Baga, 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 baga. Oh, I'm so grateful the cat just does not have her head screwed on. Because if she did, I'd be dead. Well, if I keep doing that, that shores is definitely gonna frickin' end me. I'm aware, I'm aware. Oh god, here comes Kansas. That effing hurt. Sorry, Helena. Sorry, 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 not sorry, not sorry. Baga, 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 baga. So dead, I'm so dead, I'm so dead, I'm so dead, I'm so dead. Please don't engage me. Baga. Where's the other cruiser that that could have helped? Uh, it's an AI controlled one. That explains everything. And yet nothing at the same time. Wait, are we gonna win that? Do I need to roll this? No, I don't. I don't need to roll it again. Thank God. <sighs> I have to roll it for the next five days though. Which sucks. But what can you do? Now I need to roll two tier sevens. See? Baltimore. Health boost. Right next to the radar. Why the hell don't they let the New Orleans have that boost as well? That was beyond me. Let's go for the Lexington. <laughs> Do 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 do. Reggie. I'll be very curious when I get the shakedowns or the endurance trials done. What way the shakedowns will go? Because you're earning path one, which is the forty thousand fire damage, a thousand ribbons, top four four times. You're earning that pathway first. So I wonder. Are we able to backtrack and earn path two? Because if they've restricted that to only one path is allowed, then that really just doesn't make sense to me. But I am very curious on what that first pathway leads to. Or not the first pathway. There's like a really weird blue star. And I want to say arena, but arena's not that color. Arena is purple for its events. Yeah. I believe when there's an arena challenge, they are colored purple. So I wonder what the hell they are. There was also meant to be an auction thing available as well. 
I don't know when that is meant to happen. Or if it's gonna happen. First squadron will get dived now and then return home later. Oh shit. There's a squadron of planes here. Oh, they got my other No, you evil bastards. Where are the first torpedoes going? They're going. Yeah, I all of a sudden just don't want to be going that way right now with a carrier. I don't know why. Watch. And that freaking guy dodged that torpedo too. Okay. Hey, Gur first. I am so sorry for what I'm about to do to you. But I also hate you. So, it works out. Worcester's AA. Freaking insane. Missed. Go figure. Oh, goodbye, Gur first. I do love this now. You can see the hip points of the boat before you even look at them. That must be a new thing added, because that's pretty freaking cool. Let's return home, return home. Damn you, Gur first. Am I ever going to get a kill? Good shit, but also, fuck you at the same time. Great. My only real target that I can see is a Bismarck, which has good AA. <sighs> Drop a squad now. Anyway, so that doesn't matter. No, don't take the Bismarck from me. I need a kill. Well, I don't need one. I would prefer one. You know, if you guys could just leave one B. Loose. Somehow I don't get the kill. And I'm gonna guess I don't get Stalingrad. No, because Griffith gets that too! Fuck you! Where the hell are you now? Oh wow, you actually reversed to get that. Okay. That Lexington's pretty much dead. No way I'm gonna get there in time to bomb him. Gone. Minotaur secures that. Mm, boom. Yep. Well, crap. 
This is not going to a good start so far. This is going pretty bad, actually. I need to run one more ship from a bureau project. I swear in future, when I do a stream again, I won't let you guys suffer through this. I will do real battles. Like I normally do before. It's just for some reason this week, I thought, I'll take this with a ride. But then my bureau projects have been, well, uneventful, to say the least. I am not even a destroyer. Can't even show you my game plan that again. Although I think you've seen what I could do in a destroyer as a squad, but not as a solo player. Come on, game. Throw us in to another match. Back with the giant. Alright. Gig, 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 D. And I've just realized something. The way they have them challenges done, you can't do the fire challenge. Oh, yeah, no. Okay, so. For those that don't see, understand what I'm getting at, when we had the Philandry campaign, every single challenge was open. You could participate for everything at the same time. However, for Belfast campaign, by the looks of what they've done with week one, you have to do it in segments. Which is a yay for you, Wargaming, but a bad for us. But, at the same time, thankfully, Belfast is known to be an HE cruiser at tier 6. So, there will be not really many torpedo challenges. However, while we're on the subject of Belfast, for those going, why would I want to go for the campaign? Simple fact is, Belfast is in the game. That is true. She's already here. She's a tier 6 premium cruiser. However, this is a tier 7 cruiser that we're going for. This is the 1943, her final model. What does this model boast over the tier 6? Better guns, better smoke, better radar, and better hit points. But most importantly, it comes with torpedoes, which is the way I know my battle sh er, my cruiser to be. That is the final stage and the way I always knew the Belfast to be. For some reason, I've just also lost sight of that damn fucking cruiser. Well, for some reason, they brought in the before model, which is weird. But uh, it's fine. They can do what they want, I believe. But I would definitely, you know, recommend if you're not comfortable with cruisers, or the way certain cruisers are for a tier 7. Maybe give it a try. That's a fucking minute. No, it's a Worcester. Because I would recommend, like, if you were... Wow, that was a stupid move. If you're comfortable with a fast-firing cruiser that needs to hide, needs to sit behind an island, something like Atlanta or Cleveland, there's a tier 7 that I can instantly say is the same. Then I would recommend getting Belfast. I absolutely love my Cleveland. Which is why I can say, you know, go for it. And you've only released one set of torpedoes. Shoot the other ones. Yeah, he's pretty much got him. Dead to rights. Hello. You came around for me. How adorable. But very stupid. Flandre, engage your AA. And your secretaries kill him. Kill him now. And it's more unfortunately you miss out on Citadel Heaven. Uh, 
I deliberately go full stop here. Just raining them secondary hits. Look at that. 70, 80, 90. There's 95. There's 100. 105. 110. Bye-bye. Ah. Uh. That's probably the worst cruiser in the Bureau to go for, is that Worcester. Or Worcester. It's not really that good. It's great if it can hide behind an island, but the problem is, is getting it behind the island before you're spotted. God, I know, that's a pain in the ass. Speaking of pains in the ass, now let's go to real battles, so what do we need to do, dear game? Credits. Alright, that's easy enough, done. We will not stick to tier 7, because I know there's a lot of... <gasps> I just remembered something. Oh, it won't be in the store, so we can't see it, but... I just remembered, there's even another reason why I'm staying out of tier 7. Because tier 5 is now safe. Because there used to be a fast-firing tier 6 cruiser which got a lot of downgraded matches so it was always in 5's very rarely in 7's and of course I'm talking about the Weimar that this update if I'm not mistaken was hated by so many players because it had the rate of fire of the old school Cleveland so, Wargaming listened, so instead of nerfing the ship and making people hate Wargaming for nerfing a fast-firing cruiser, Wargaming up-tiered the cruiser. So it stays at 7, where it can meet legends. And some 6s. Which is where that cruiser belongs. And in time, I can guarantee you, it will get a nerf. Because the Cleveland, before it got buffed with a good crew, that thing had a free second reload, or 3.5 second reload, I believe, was the best I ever saw. Which is insane. And that's essentially what Weimar has at the minute, so... If Cleveland got bu- What the fuck are you doing here? It's still not a tier 7? What the fuck? You're not meant to be here. Oh, Wargaming, you have fucking let me down. Oh, what the fuck? Although I did see my Belfast. Oh, there's she. No, that's not her. Does the enemy have Belfast? Yes, the enemy has to Belfast. Oh, but I am so fucking disappointed with that. That shouldn't be here anymore. They legitly said it was meant to be this update. That ship goes up tier. So great. We're still not safe. Ah, fuck all kinds of duck. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Oh, no, he didn't aim it right. I'm safe. But it won't be from her if she shoots me. Belfast is continuing on. He's gonna go around the island. Hmm. Yeah, I kinda wish our Weimar would do that. Virginia should aim at him, and not at me. Uh, 
and she's pulling out of it. Fire again, Belfast? You should be there. I was wrong. You are not there. Where are you? Oh, you are fucking having me on. The Benson's here? I still miss the Belfast. Come on, Mymar. Show your BS ability. Let's go. I really hope Wargaming didn't change their mind about that. Fucking West Virginia. Benson. And I'm gonna get one of them. Yep. <laughs> I love how quickly Belfast is like, ah, oh, shit, we gotta turn. You're gonna instantly kill me. I know you are. Good. Mark does her job. And he citadels me frontally. Okay. And we're going back to port by that one. I 
there is a reason why I do hate the fucking California, and that is the reason. It shares the most retarded weak spot I've ever seen on a battleship. I mean, he didn't detonate. Like, if he detonated me, I actually would have been very grateful because I am yet to be detonated, like, ammo racked by another player. And the years that I've, like, what, for years? That I've played this game, I am yet to be ammo racked. And I don't get how I've survived for years without even hitting that. I've ammo racked people myself, I've just never received it. And this is me essentially begging anyone if you see me in a match, please fucking ammo rack me. It is the one medal I haven't got. Because you can only get it by someone detonating you, not the other way around, which is retarded wargaming. You should fix that. Mm, torpedo rage is not good enough. I need to continue my turn, or I'm going to hit that other battleship. Oh, it's a Koenig. So we're in a four match. That is utterly fucking retarded how quickly I've just been spotted. That's just for blind firing's sakes. Damn. I actually got him. Oh, that sucks for you, Fizby, because you can't hide. Which means, unfortunately for you, you are going to be first strike. Didn't want to do that, but you're a destroyer less. Come on. I lost his bow, so I'm just going to blind fire. Mm, we do hit, but only 2,000. About. German cruiser with an American flag on it. What the fuck? And I know you've torpedoed me. The problem I have is I can't really turn out of it as of yet. Now I can. Of course, they're gonna keep their uh, spot up on me. I'm not gonna see jack shit. You need a young priest and an old priest because the power of Christ compels you, my man.
Hi, carrier. How you doing? Were those meant for me? Well, they were. Okay. Uh, better luck next time, I guess. Keep throwing HE at me, aren't you? See, this is what I was on about. Because there's a fucking HE challenge, battleships are gonna be the ones throwing the HE. If he loaded AP, he would be able to kill me. <sighs> You're gonna bomb me, aren't you? Lasty rough note. <laughs> Shit, the Grelio came down there. I was actually expecting the Arizona, not him. So you finally learned that AP is your friend. I also say ignorance becomes of you. I'm going. You're coming with me, Powder Puff. for the high cow. And there's your death. The fact that I didn't kill you, I'm kind of amazed by. But I'll happily take out the Arizona. That don't bother me, and our destroyer is pretty much alive, somehow. That's disappointing. That's gonna be another loss, though. Don't know why our battleship that was up there decided to go and chase the destroyer. It was not a very smart move. But it is what it is. Wow, the California actually got a win. The team won. Good God. And I came fourth. And let me just go prove to you right now that what I was saying during that Cali match is true. See? You have to do them in order. How frustratingly annoying is that crap? <laughs> shoot me. Just shoot me. I have not taken you. I will take you. See if the old Tennessee is still as good as I remember her being for me. Should I actually take out the QE. It's been a long 